Well, today we're on a bit of a rescue mission. Well, actually, it's not really a rescue mission, but you know what? I'm a YouTuber, and you know, us YouTubers, we like to over dramatize stuff. So, what I should really say is today I'm moving out of my lockup. This is my lockup in Kent, and uh, they want to put new doors on, they want to fix the roof. So, they've asked everybody to move out of all these garages whilst they do the repairs. Something to do with health and safety, would you believe? Anyway. So luckily, extremely lucky that I managed to find another lock up in Stroud near Becky. There's Becky. Hello. Leave all that stuff in there, we'll just take the whole box. Okay. Anyway, it's a sad day. I've had this car for I don't know how many years. And over the last three years whilst I've been in Gloucester, in Stroud, this has acted as a bit of a doorstop to stop anyone breaking into my lock up. Now, what was it? intending on putting this back on the road and using it as a daily driver to save the legs of Mary a little bit. <laughs> but the crunch has come, I've got a choice to make whether to let this car go or whether to repair it. And because we're up against time, I've decided it's time to let the old girl go. So she's going to the car breakers in the sky. I was really quite shocked. I phoned up the car breakers. I said, how much would you give me for my old Merc? Thinking that they would say about 100 quid. But no, they're going to give me 260 pounds for the old girl. So I'll take that. <laughs> quite pleased. Just going to put some petrol in it so that it runs. Just run out of petrol. Anyway, this is our second run here. We've, this is the second visit we've made. And you can see it's quite empty. All I've got in here now is some cabinets and some odd bits and pieces some tools from the past from my past life when i had a massive great big workshop a couple of trolley jacks that have definitely seen better days i think i've had my money's worth out of them <laughs> my emergency water for when i'm here working um we don't need that anymore but we're not going to empty it just in case we need some water because i've got hardly any water in mary i deliberately emptied the water tank to make her as light as possible so I'm pretty pleased I've still got that water in here. My old faithful deck chair that I've had since I was... Five. About that. <laughs> <laughs> you get the picture. When you, you know, what is the point in having a lock up like this when you, all you do is end up storing stuff that you never use? Um, and that's pretty much, you know, most of the stuff in here I've not used for years. So my good mate Dave is coming up with his truck he does house clearances, rubbish clearances, and all that sort of stuff. Most of this stuff is going to just go on the back of his truck and it's going to be recycled. There we go. That's the last of my workshop. Oh, look, I'm going to film again. <laughs> this is my mate Dave. If you've got any house clearances or rubbish clearances in the Medway area, look him up on Facebook. Dave's recycling. That's right, isn't it? Mm. Yep. Yeah. Check him out. Okay, Dave. Say hi, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Dave is going to take all of my former workshop, the last of my workshop stuff. Shit. <laughs> As he politely puts it. Do you want to actually stand together and I'll just do a quick... You can use it for a thumbnail. Cheers, buddy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that is everything, isn't it? I think so. Well, I don't know. Are we going to take paint? I only painted it yesterday. Oh, yeah, it looks nice. Very nice and swish. That's Mel's old pee pipe. <laughs> oh, lovely. I no, I've never used it. I never <laughs> used it. Oh. Um, they gave it to me. Yeah. Oh. We're never going to clear out. I've okay. got a jack in for this. Or it's moving machinery. Or railway jack. Yeah. Yeah. I've had this since brand new. I think I've had my money's worth out of it, so Dave can have it now. Yeah. What the paint? Can... Yeah, don't scratch the paintwork. Alright. All of the shit that Mel has accumulated over the last. I don't know, 40 Maybe. years? 40 years? 40 years, not that old. Wait, where are uh, you? Most old? of this stuff is from when I had my garage. Mm. Just bits and pieces that I thought would come in handy. 
Thought, oh, I don't want to throw that away. Might want to use that one day. Four or five years later, I ain't touched it, so time to let it go. But the cabinets are going to be good for the workshop now. For the new lockup. Yeah. Or the workshop. These were brand new when I brought them as well. Yeah. I think I've got my money's worth out of them too. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, like a glove. That is perfect. Yeah, it will. Oh, no, 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 it won't. Unscrew that and we'll just, just slide it in there. Yeah, put on top. Or here. We'll put it in the front. Take a little tip from me. If you do have a lockup when you live in a van, just make sure you stay on top of it because otherwise you end up with this problem. And I love melter bits, but sometimes you just got to keep on top of your stuff so that you know what you've got and how you can use it. The rest, you just don't need. There you go, Mel. There's a little tip from me. Also, we had fun doing it, didn't we? Well, my old mate Dave's gone. My lockup is empty, all but a few shelves. <laughs> all of my cupboards, all my cubby holes, my filing cabinets, they're all empty. We're going to keep these, we're going to take these to the new workshop. And uh, we're going to clean them up, paint them up, and use these to store stuff like screws, all the little bits and bobs that are handy to have when you're converting a camper van. That's not good. Hello, Thank you. There she goes, the old faithful. Probably the longest I've ever owned a car for. <laughs> Mainly because it was parked blocking the entrance to my garage. But there you go. There she goes, up the alleyway. And I think, yeah, let's hope he don't conk out because he's parked his truck down the road outside someone's house. Look at that, it's empty now. Have you watched someone park here? There you go. Oh yeah, let's put that there for Joe as well. Yeah. Stop being on park now. Relieved, sad. But, End of a um, chapter. Worried that he's not going to come back in a minute or two and say the car's broke down. Well, he should be prepared for that, shouldn't I he? I think so, yeah. If we go and check, make sure he's got it on his van. Up to you. I'm going to finish editing. All right, let me go and have a look, make sure he's got it on his truck. Yeah. Well, that's it. The lockup is empty. The back of him is full with all my wrap. So. And we've done it just in the nick of time. It's just started to thunder and rain. So all I've got to do now is hand in the key to my Mepham lockup, and then it's off to the Stroud lockup, get rid of some of this stuff, and uh, hopefully find some dry clothes to get into along the way. Right, let's go to the office, which happens to be literally just around the corner, lucky enough, because the heavens have opened up. It just started to thunder as we were putting the last of the cabinets in. It's so lucky with the weather. It's all Mary's ever so bouncy, so we know we're on the Ooh. weight limit. So the interesting thing is going to be whether or not we get back to Stroud without going into limp mode. Right, let's go in the keys in. Hopefully they're open. We finally made it back to the workshop. I've decided to bring the cabinets here rather than take them to the lockup because they do need a bit of TLC. So we're going to drop them off at the workshop 
And then when I get chance, I'm gonna sand them all down, give them a coat of paint, and then take them to the lockup. I think that's probably the better way to go. What do you reckon, dear? Yeah, I think they might be useful here as well, but yeah. we'll see. Yeah, somebody might even find them useful here. Somebody like Lauren, for instance, our new Patreon. She's hiding in the back of the van now. Do you want to say hi to everyone? Hello, my darling. There you go. This is Lauren. She's bought this van. How long have you had this? A couple of weeks? About six weeks, six yeah. Six weeks, and she's come here to the barn to try and convert it. Obviously, we'll give her a hand. Thank you very much. It would be appreciated. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a quick look. There you go. Nice looking van. Really clean, Lauren. Thank you. Sitting nice and high, so the suspension is all good as well. Yeah, what are you doing today? Today I'm faffing around with a Max Air fan. Max Air fan? Oh, yes. Flash. Yeah, it was going to go in the centre, but I realise these ribs might be a bit annoying, so I might put it off centre. Yeah, yeah. Not a bad idea, eh? I, I do. Mine's off centre. Is it? Yeah, who says you've got to have it in the middle? That's, that's for fools, isn't it? Anyone can <laughs> have their fan in the middle. Anyone can put their fan in the middle. Oh, you've got a ladder as well. Look at that, she's got a ladder. Got a side window already put in. Nice looking clean van. Who says transits are nasty? This one's really nice looking. Oh, you said transits are nasty. Yeah, yeah some people that. do. No, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, isn't it? It's yeah. nice. It's a nice yeah. base vehicle. Got your sound deadening on there. Yeah, total waste of time. Never mind. Definitely. She's done it. <laughs> <laughs> it gave me something to do until I got here. You obviously didn't watch that video that I made? Uh, I, I did actually. <laughs> Just close your eyes at the sound editing, don't look at it. Yeah, it's alright. I mean. <laughs> it gave me something to do. <laughs> oh, good, good. Right, I'm going to go and get my van unloaded. We'll catch you later. Best of luck, darling. And you, thank you. That's Lauren, everyone. Oh, right, okay. I don't understand that. I don't understand it either. Let's get this stuff out of the van. Put it down on the floor. Do you need hands? I think we're all right at the moment. Right. Okay. All right. Look. Got I want to shut this door probably. Oh, no, she can get down. Well, after dropping Becky off last night at her parents' house, I decided to come down here to my workshop and spend my first night outside my new workshop. And it was quiet as a mouse, really quiet down here, so I'm really pleased. No traffic at all, just the sound of nature. Really something quite nice. So pleased. Well, I've got to drop off some more stuff and all my clothes are actually in my workshop, in my workshop, in my lock-up. So I need to drop a few bits and pieces off here at the lock-up, pick up my clothes and then uh, that's it. I'm officially moved in to uh, Stroud. I'm a, yeah, I guess I'm a resident of Stroud now. Right. I think the first thing I need to do is make myself a coffee. I'm just checking the amount of power that I've got in my Bluetti before I go ahead and turn on my induction cooktop to make a coffee. And it just occurred to me that I've not actually used any gas in my van for the last three weeks because when I'm driving around I like to turn my gas off at the gas tank just for safety's sake. And because we've had such lovely sunshine <laughs> over the last month, I've not actually used gas, I've just purely been relying on my Bluetti AC200 Max and it has performed flawlessly. And the more I use my Bluetti, the more confident I'm becoming in recommending it to you guys. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think that makes perfect sense. Yeah, so <laughs> I just wanted to say... Right, coffee, I need coffee. But when I do boil the kettle to make a coffee, what I do to conserve energy and to conserve water is to actually fill up a cup of water and boil just that one cup of water. After all, that's all I need, is one cup of water to make one cup of coffee. 
if I'm making two drinks, I'll put two cups of water in the kettle. And that's how I conserve water, I conserve energy as well. So whilst the kettle boils, I'm going to brush my teeth. You don't really want to see that, so I'm going to switch the camera off for a minute. I'll be right back. Now I've got this huge water jug. And my lock up in Kent, I used to fill this up with water and leave it there. So if ever I need to wash myself at the lock up if I got dirty, then I'd have water. So uh, I'm going to keep this in here so that I don't forget to fill it up with water. So next time I come down here, I've got water here, even though there's a stream right there and there's a stream just that side of the car park as well. I think that's why there's so much nature around here. You can probably hear the birds. Beautiful, I love it. which I don't really need. So I will be having a massive purge when I get five minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna go through everything. I'm probably gonna throw a lot of this stuff away. Although I've got to say, I already have thrown an awful lot of stuff away. But how much stuff do you need, eh? Hey? I would really like to get some kind of extension lead so I can run an extension lead from my van into here so that I've got power in here. I think that would be a really good option or maybe if the landlord allows me to I could put a solar panel on the roof and maybe have a power pack in here so I've got power inside my lockup. That'd be brilliant. Now I have to say, I absolutely love the way these doors open up onto my back doors of my van. And if I park just right, it gives me complete privacy. Look at that, absolutely fantastic. It just gets better and better, this place. It really does. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go now. I'm going to go and sort out all of this stuff. I'm going to sort through it, find, figure out what I want to keep and what I want to throw away, basically. After all, it is pretty much the stuff I don't really use anymore, apart from my clothes of course. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, if you did then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching, ta for now.